edible companies can be the next big pot stock trend. Pot stocks have been dominated by the largest growers in the industry. With these companies, they can be considered solid investments. But taking a closer look, there are other areas of the cannabis industries that are worth watching closely. The edibles industry is one that has been slowly taking off right under many investors' noses. This is especially true in the Canadian market where edibles and concentrates only became legal a few months ago. Because of this, many popular cannabis companies have been scrambling to get product to the country. There are only a few marijuana stocks with targets set on the edibles market. Most of the time, these companies operate in several areas of the marijuana market, but they also happen to produce edibles as well. This means that the edibles market remains quite a niche inside of the larger cannabis ecosystem. One of the key areas of the edibles market is in the cannabis-infused drinks area. Many large companies have put in multi-billion dollar investments into companies with the hopes of producing these novel products. Because demand is so high right now, any company working inside of the market has a good chance of seeing high sales. A pot stock with a big hand in edibles. Oxley Cannabis is a cannabis company working on producing products for both the medicinal and recreational marijuana markets. The company is comprised of individuals with a large amount of experience in the industry. With this, it has been able to build up a reputation of producing some of the highest quality products in the industry. The company recently announced that it will be moving further into the edibles market with a new line of products. After Canada legalized edibles, Oxley quickly decided that it would need to add new products in order to keep up with future momentum. An edible pot stock by acquisition. Cresco Labs is not a producer of edibles on its own, but in the purchase of Origin House, recently has helped its move into the edibles market. Cresco Labs on its own is considered to be a multi-state operator, which is in itself a very lucrative business. But Origin House has been working to produce large quantities of cannabis products for sale in the California cannabis market. Origin House reportedly has access to as many as 500 retail locations in the Golden State which means that there shouldn't be any issues with overproduction. The acquisition only happened in the past month. This means that we have yet to see the massive gains from these two behemoths joining forces. But with Cresco Labs' help, Origin House may be able to become one of the largest cannabis companies for producing marijuana-infused products in the cannabis industry.